Well, Ryan Yale had a nice testimony about how music has helped him to become who he is today. Well, that is what we hope, of course. We want to see God's talents mature in our young people so that they grow up to be exactly what God wanted them to be. But you know, that doesn't always happen. If you're anything like me, you can say, I've messed up. I've made some mistakes. I've gotten myself in a few pickles. Thankfully, we have God who is always wanting to pick us up no matter where we've been or what we've done, no matter if we've been addicted, whatever it is, God wants to provide freedom. Well, there is a program, a relatively new program in this area that, to be honest, could be exactly what you need. It's for men in this region, and it's called Hotspot. And I have Pastor Wayne Bradley, uh, who actually started the program a year ago, almost, almost exactly a year ago, to yes, talk ma'am. more about this program. Explain to me, what is Hotspot? Hotspot is a program developed for men who have maybe tried all the other programs that are out here. Um, one of the things, the gist of um, what happened for me is that I had to try so many things until I finally got something that was able to get me out of this stronghold. Eventually, it all boils down and gets back to just trusting God and believing God for your healing. But Hotspot is a program for those of us who maybe have yet to get to the point where we want to trust God. Um, one of the prerequisites for most programs in, in any kind of healing program is that you, at some point you have to believe God. You know, a lot of people don't want to believe God. So what Hotspot does is Hotspot attacks this part of us that doesn't want to look at the God area. It tells us that you've tried this, you've tried that, you've tried everything. And now we believe that Hotspot is a program that's designed for men who have tried everything. It's a no frills program, a no wiggle rooms type of program. We don't uh, try to pat each other on the back. We don't try to co-sign one another. We don't try to sugarcoat anything. We just come right at each other with the real root deal of what's going on mm. with our addictions and mm. with our strongholds. You said two words that I think are really important. First, you said addiction, yes. which uh, affects more people yes. than anybody wants to realize Amen. Amen. and then you said root you yes. know the root cause of problems yes, it's ma'am. it's it's sometimes easy to deal with the surface problems Amen. but as long Amen. as the root is still there that addiction might still exist so hotspot is an acronym yes. it stands for honest open transparent so purpose overcomes temptation yes, ma'am. which i think is fabulous Amen. what Amen. type of person who, who, describe for me who is going to start coming to your hotspot meetings? We started hotspot a year ago with a group of men who came first and foremost for the reasons that I just gave you, that they have tried everything. So the type of guy that's going to be attracted to hotspot and they may benefit from hotspot is going to be someone who almost is at the point of just giving up, mm -hmm. saying these things don't work. Mm -hmm. If they do work, they don't work for me. It's mm -hmm. very discouraging sometimes to see men and women finding their place and getting healed and you for some reason can't seem to get yeah, it. Yeah. You know, it seems like yeah. sometimes that, well, this isn't for me, this isn't for me, this isn't for me. And I would submit to those men that addiction isn't for you, that strongholds yeah, aren't for amen. you, that yeah. these things that destroy you are not for you. Because like you said, it's not just the person, but it's a family and a, and a societal issue. And what we have seen in Hotspot is these guys who have been willing to to first off to sign a covenant that says every part of my life is wide open to the guys in Hotspot, a close group that doesn't talk about these things, but we don't hide anything from one another because most of us have done things that we would never want right. anyone to know about. And when right. you get in a room, there's a certain measure of healing in the fact yes. that you can share these things that have been secrets for so very long. Oh, yeah. So we, we're getting some guys that they really need this program. So, so when we say addictions, are we talking yeah. drug addictions, sexual we're, addictions? Yes, what types of addictions? I'm glad you asked me that because we are talking drugs, but we're also talking pornographic material. We're talking computers. We're talking any stronghold, any addiction, because it doesn't have to be something that's immediately showing how the effect can be negative on you and those around you. It can be a slow eating thing. It can be something mm -hmm. that has been with you maybe your whole life and it's been the one thing that you never really zeroed in on because as we said in the beginning you know it's so easy to look at the surface and it's so easy to get better and never get well yes and you know yes. and when you've been suffering for so long like for some of us the addiction 
came in at such a rush and it created such a dysfunction in our lives that we found ourselves homeless, under bridges, living in other people's mm. homes, stealing, lying, cheating, denying God and everything that could possibly help us, we just pushed away. But others of us, we have been sauntering through this life just on the, on the, on the edge of destruction. Mm. And we've been able to continue to fix the surface so we never really had to look at the root. And I spot saying, guess what? Here's the root, and what do you want to do with it? It's time to start looking at the root. Yeah, you know, so. when, when people can get that root gone, oh, yeah. the, freedom the freedom that comes from is that amazing. is incredible because you can, you can cover it and you can say, I'm getting better and things are feeling yes. better and mm -hmm. I'm improving. But yet when you get rid of that root, right. the freedom right. from inside, the Amen. change that are broken Amen. are God. incredible. Praise God. So this takes place at your church. At tell, your us, tell us yes. the location, the yes. time. Okay. And uh, let's say you've got got a man who uh, he's got custody of his of his five-year-old daughter. Yes. What do you do with a situation like that? Okay, we got a man who has custody of his five-year-old oh, daughter. Oh, well, I first just thing, happened to first say thing, that. Yeah, but that's cool because that's the kind of thing that we want to address because yeah. that's the thing that somebody wants to keep secret. See, they don't want to talk about their daughter and the relationship of that custody because all well, they really want, I just want my kids back. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to change. You don't want to fix the thing that, you don't, that made it possible for you not to have your child. But to answer your first question, Lafayette First United Methodist Church, 204 West Main Street All right, we've in got Lafayette, Ohio at 7 p.m. on every Thursday night. This is when Hotspot meets. But getting back to the guy with the child and mm -hmm. he's got custody or he wants custody or he yeah. wants more time with his child. We're saying in Hotspot that what's the reason that you have to be here? What's the reason that you're searching for custody of your child? What's the reason that this very um, personal and private and anointed thing that God has given you needs to be addressed? Why aren't you just like everyone else? We get so happy about the fact that, oh, I got my kid back, but I want to know why you lost them. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yes. about? And there's no glory in, and no, um, uh, how could I put this? There's no uh, glory in saying, well, I got my child. You should have your child. You know, you should have your child. And rather than saying, well, let us help you to get your child back. Let's tell you how you can maneuver and do this, mm -hmm. that, and the other, because we've been fixing, managing, and controlling for so long. We've been able to bamboozle and hoodwink mm -hmm. everybody that we've come in contact with. And so now we're standing up in a hot spot where we can no longer do this because the men around us are the same type of men. So we're saying, what are you gonna do? And why did you need this in the first place? Let's address the root. Let's address the root. I know you want your child back, but let's talk about why you don't have them. You know, and most people don't want to do that. And when you put them in a position where they have to look deep inside of themselves, look at the root, then they want to run away. The good thing about hot spot, it says that if you want to leave, go. There's no requirements. No, we just say well, bye. Except the freedom. We say that can bye. Come with and it. people say, well, how can you be a Christian based? How can you be a pastor and say you just tell people bye? Because we really believe this is what came out of the hotspot agenda. When God gave me this dream a year ago, I really thought that, man, this isn't going to work. And not because God said it, because it's immediately upon Him saying it. I bought it lock, stock, and barrel, but I got flag back from others who said there are so many programs why would you want to reinvent the wheel how can this happen this is not going to last and all of these type of things and i say that only because of one thing god is glorified when we are obedient Amen. the blessings follow and i just say you know what i'm going to listen to god so god said we need a no frills assault on the problems that bind men mm -hmm. we need something that and we need members who would seek a higher accountability and acceptance of their own responsibility with the misnomer, with the knowledge that they know that there's no wiggle room. If you can't make it to the meeting and you need $5 for um, bus fare or whatever, we're gonna say, well, I saw you walking down Main Street to the south end or to the north end or to the west end or to the east end or wherever you go to get your fix and do what you do and you didn't need anything then. Yeah. But now you want $5. And we are maybe two miles closer than that walk you took to get your drugs. So if you can walk that far, then what will you do for your sobriety? No, mm. we don't have $5 for you, but we do have a program called Hotspot, and you're welcome to come back next Thursday. It's going to give them far more yes, than $5. It's going to give yeah. them far more than anything. 
no frills assault on the problems that bind men. That is what's yes. being offered that is. through the saving grace of Jesus Christ through Hotspot. It's Thursdays at seven o'clock. This is not like any other program in the area. This, as Pastor Wayne yeah. said, this came to him in a dream. Yes. He spoke with other brothers in the Lord. They worked together, created mm -hmm. this program. It's been going for more than a year. And I tell you, if anything that you've heard in this last 10 minutes has sparked something, or maybe somebody you know, or maybe it's your son, or maybe it's your Amen. brother, or Praise maybe God. it's your uncle, or maybe it's your husband, maybe it's you. I Hallelujah. encourage you to be praying Hallelujah. that if this is where God wants you to go, you don't need to live in chains. No, God don't. wants to break that, break free from that. But like Wayne, Pastor Wayne said, getting through that chain is sometimes the most difficult thing because the devil wants to keep you there and it yes. becomes comfortable. And maybe that's where you want to feel. Sometimes it's easier to live in chaos because we yeah. know what it is, but that's not what God wants. God wants you to be in freedom. Encourage you to uh, look more into Hotspot. It is Thursdays at seven o'clock at Lafayette First United Methodist yes. Church in Lafayette. And here's the information where you can get more information. Hallelujah. You can email Pastor Wayne Bradley at the address you see there on the screen, bradleywayne51 at yahoo.com, or you can call 419-296-1222. Oh, God bless. Mark, back to you.